What's up guys, I'm DK Wrestler and in today's video I'm going to be doing a top 10 list of my favorite Funko Pops that were announced in March of 2024. And let me tell you, this month was actually pretty difficult to do a list because a lot of Pops were banger, definitely compared to the prior months of January and February 2024, so it was very difficult to figure out which Pops were going where, but ultimately I do have a top 10 list with some honorable mentions on top of it. So coming in at number 10, it is the Funko Shop exclusive Two-Face from the Warner Brothers 100 set. And this pop is a very gorgeous looking pop in terms of the detail of it. I do love the detail of them adding the coin being flipped in the air where they have two pieces of the coin being translucent so that it gives off that effect. I think they did a pretty great job with this and a lot of views probably would put this much higher on the list but because of how jam-packed March was that I just feel that it couldn't have went any higher in my opinion at least. If this was announced let's say in February or in January, this probably would have cracked the top five portion of those lists. Coming in at number nine on this list, it is the GameStop exclusive Banjo-Kazooie Pop Game Covers. It has been quite a while since we've gotten a Game Covers, and I do like the aspect that they actually made a Banjo-Kazooie Pop by doing it as a Game Covers. I do enjoy this. We've never gotten Banjo-Kazooie Pops before, which is why this cracks the list because it's something completely new instead of obviously obviously a remold of a character and then made into one of these covers. Seeing Banjo and Kazooie right there is really, really awesome. And I'm sure a lot of fans are super hyped about this pop. Coming in at number nine on this list, it is the Knuckles and Rouge two pack from Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, of course I do enjoy this very much because of course Knuckles is my favorite character in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. I do own the flocked version that was a Target Con 2022 exclusive, which you guys would have seen randomly appear at stores this year in 2024 with those releases and it also introduces the very first Funko Pop of Rouge into the Sonic the Hedgehog lineup so I really do enjoy that and also with the Knuckles Pop it does have a new pose compared to the pose that was given for that flocked version so it is a completely new Knuckles for the most part and if you did miss on the flock Pop and you did want this Rouge Pop you technically could get this two pack and be satisfied but for me at least because I am just a Knuckles fan realistically I am satisfied with just the flocked one. However, I think this two pack would have been higher up on the list if both pops were flocked, especially with Knuckles having a new mold. Coming in at number seven on this list, it is the Owl as Prince from Sleeping Beauty. Of course, I'm not really the biggest fan of Sleeping Beauty realistically, but I do enjoy the execution of the molding that they had in this pop. Of course, you do have the owl, but it's comprised of various different animals to basically make a Funko Pop body. For the boots, you do have a couple of bunny rabbits and the ears holding the feet of the owl. A couple birds are holding up the cape, and of course, there is the owl there acting as the headpiece. So something we've never really seen in Funko Pop form before, so breaking that kind of molding of a Funko Pop is really awesome for this, and I do enjoy the way this looks, but it's not any higher because I just don't have any personal reaction towards Sleeping Beauty. Coming in at number six on this list, it is the Chase variant of Harpy Lady from Yu-Gi-Oh. Of course, you guys know already that I have pretty much the entire set of Yu-Gi-Oh. And the reason I chose the Chase instead of the Common for this is I like the whole color design of the Chase much better, where you have the purple wings instead of, I believe, the blue wings for the Common. And then the outfit being all gold does look really nice compared to the outfit that the Common is wearing. And the fact that this actually is is the very first chase figure for the Yu-Gi-Oh lineup. Coming in at number five on this list, it is the Fanatics exclusive Undertaker for the WWE lineup. Now, of course, we've had lots of Undertaker pops in the past, but for those that don't know, uh, besides the fact that, of course, I collect the WWE pops, one of the specific sets that I collect is every single Undertaker pop since Undertaker was the wrestler that got me into professional wrestling. So it is my goal to get every single Undertaker pop and I did have the entire set until this Fanatics exclusive got announced and I can't wait to get this, especially with this gorgeous Hall of Fame set with the nice box. You also have the little black of the Funko pop also. So that's really cool. It's almost like a remold of the OG Undertaker pop, except 
except you have the eyes rolled back and his hands are up. So it is a really nice remold, but I do think there are better detailed pops than this pop, which is why it's only made the top five, but it is in the top five portion, considering that I will 100% be getting this into my collection. Coming in at number four on my list is the Skater Boy Avril Lavigne for the Rocks lineup. This pop is wicked. Eight-year-old me would be super excited about this considering that Avril Lavigne was like my childhood crush at that point. And it's really awesome that Avril Lavigne is finally getting her own Funko Pop. We have this one, obviously the Let Go Pop albums, and there is rumor of a complicated Avril Lavigne coming down the pipeline. So we're going to be getting quite a bit of Funko Pops for her. And of course, being a fellow Canadian, just like her, I'm just really excited for her to have her own Funko Pop. Coming in at number three on my list is the Ojama Yellow from the Yu-Gi-Oh! lineup. Once again, a Yu-Gi-Oh! pop does make it into my top 10 list. Ojama Yellow is so obscure of a like dual monster that I'm so glad that Funko ended up acknowledging it into pop form. The detail of it, where he's wearing that like red thong, you have the big lips, and the way they executed the eyes in pop form is almost identical to what the eyes would look like in the actual card for Ojama Yellow. So this is really awesome. The posing is hilarious also. So this is actually probably the most excited I am as terms to this new set. Although the rest of the set is cool with like a wing Karibo, the other harpy lady to get besides the chase and then the new elemental heroes that are going to be involved i just enjoyed this pop so much that if there was the new set coming out and i was only able to get one at first it would be this ojama yellow because it's just absolutely hilarious coming in at number two on this list it is the fanatics exclusive cane for the wwe lineup now originally back in the day there was the walgreens exclusive cane for this lineup but it's one of those pops where when i first seen this announced it was like did we need enough upgrade not exactly but i'm glad that this upgrade happened because it's actually quite a bit better than that og version to the point to where i'm probably going to end up buying this pop and then end up selling my og cane pop because there's just no need for two cane pops and this one looks better in detail the way they executed the mask of course really awesome the attire looks awesome also and one thing i do like about this pop is how they actually have the two different colored eyes for this pop considering that obviously Obviously, if you know of Kane, you know that he wears one eye contact being like that bright blue color. So I'm glad that for the Funko Pop's sake, one is the black eye for the normal eye and the white eye is acting as that contact that Kane would wear for his character. So they did a really good job. This is why I'm definitely going to be getting this and the Undertaker at the same time. So I can kind of do like a Brothers of Destruction unboxing when I get them. And of course, before we go to my number one pick, I do have to make some honorable mentions. But this time around, it's actually not going to be honorable mentions for certain pops it's going to be certain sets because there is a lot to choose from to where I just had to include all these so the first honorable mention set is going to be the brand new Pokemon set that features Snubble, Chimchar, and Greninja all three Pokemon pops that I'm fairly familiar with actually considering with a lot of the Pokemon waves you have a lot of like gen 4 and 5 and threes that I don't really know of because I'm mostly a person that has focused on the Gen 1 Pokemon for the majority of my life, but these are Pokemon that I am very familiar with. Snubble, I believe, is in the first gen. I could be wrong. If you're a massive Pokemon fan, let me know down below. We got Chimchar, which I believe is Gen 3, but still very familiar because I think it's like a Gen 3 starter, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have Greninja, which is one of those popular, like, way down the line Gen Pokemon. And the way they actually executed the mold for Greninja looks really awesome, especially with the hands. I think they did a really great job with this, and I think it's going to be a pretty decent seller. This actually is a pretty decent wave compared to a lot of the three pop waves we've been getting for the last maybe year and a half for the Pokemon lineups. The next honorable mention set of pops is the new Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban set. I think they did an excellent job with this set, especially I like the set considering that Prisoner of Azkaban is actually my favorite Harry Potter movie. And the last honorable mention set of pops that I have here is the new Nickelodeon set of pops. We have really awesome pops in the set like Donnie Thornberry with that tongue sticking out. Really awesome. Eliza Thornberry. We got both Otto and Reggie Rocket. And then we have the new Ren and Stimpy pops. Those are absolutely awesome. Like they did a really excellent job with the molding of this pop. And you're probably thinking right now on the top of your mind, 
Why didn't you mention about Jimmy Neutron? Isn't he a part of the set? Well, coming in at number one on my list is the Jimmy Neutron from the Nickelodeon set. Did you really think I was going to leave Jimmy Neutron off this list? I don't think so. So many people are so hyped about this. We've been wanting a Jimmy Neutron pop for a while. I love the detail, obviously, with like the simplicity of the red shirt with like the Adam. And he also has his famous remote there. That's really awesome. I can't wait for more Jimmy Neutron pops to come down the pipeline. And I'm sure that this definitely will be one of the top selling pops throughout 2024. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video of me talking about my top 10 favorite Funko Pops for this month in March 2024, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what your favorite pop that was announced this month. And I hope to see you guys on another video on this channel. One, two, three, I'm out of here.